hello welcome to mage online class in today's video we're going to be cutting out cutting out the unwanted piece of our wig cap and we're going to also be fixing elastic bands on the head and clips watch the video and learn hope you enjoyed today's class so that is how to cut the excess cap dome cap and this is what it looks like so this is me trying to get a measurement of the elastic band but that's not the right way the best way is to use your tape and cut it but i know that i'm going to cut excess so this is place you, that you place it on the net part gently you can decide to use reinforcement that's extra lace if you have but just so gently on the swiss lace the hd lace or any other lace so gently there so that your wig can have a grip it's going to be cutting out because i didn't measure her head accurately and later on i'll use the lighter to burn it up use the lighter to burn it up so this is fixing the other side on the lace so it gives it that grip remember to leave excess lace because this is a 13 by 4 not, not cut yet just a little bit so remember to leave excess lace and when you're installing and when you're wearing or when your client is wearing it fits perfectly so this is how you stitch you stitch your hand stitch you can use the same machine as well but this is a hand sewn weave we're going to be designing in other models how to use a sewing machine to do the elastic and this is a hand stitch method you cut on your done stitching and make sure your cup is secured enough and to get it not to tear i decide to sew it again to the dome cup like this it to the dome cap like this so that it gets more it gets reinforced and gets stronger so that we don't have the situ situation whereby our net our lace is tearing because of wear So you sew both sides like that and it's secured it's beautiful the elastic is holding well next thing is to be fixing our combs so that you secure the client's wig or your wig properly you place it on the back and sides wherever you want to put it then you start stitching it and making sure it's secured and it doesn't spoil so that's how you secure your wig by putting an extra comb behind and in front and by the side there are different types of comb this is the one I got of Aliexpress and putting two or three you can put as many as you want to to get your wig secured but well, I'm just going to put a few for mine you stitch 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 and make sure you stitch after the first after the first sewing so that it doesn't get bumpy it's still flat and very secured So we are done. I'm just using two for now. I'm changing my mind that I'm doing three. This is what we have. So this is the final look. 
Thank you guys. Thanks for joining.